Welcome back guys. Today we are going to do a heart rate accuracy test of Amazfit T-Rex 2. I'll be comparing heart rate readings with an oximeter, Garmin 245 music and Samsung Galaxy Watch 4. Besides that, I would be showing you some heart rate settings that you should know about. So let's start off this video by comparing T-Rex 2 with an oximeter. I'm going to wear the watch on my left hand and the oximeter on my middle finger. This finger is known to provide the best heart rate readings. I have downloaded the real-time heart rate monitor app from the app store. With this app, you will be able to see the live readings side by side. So let's start with the test. As you can see, Amazfit TX2 is almost as accurate as the oximeter. Now it's time to switch the watch and oximeter to the right hand. It's because an oximeter provides a more accurate reading on the right hand. I'm expecting it to perform similar to Amazfit GTR3 as T-Rex 2 has the same BioTracker 3.0 PPG sensor. And this particular sensor was surprisingly good at tracking heart rate readings. As you can see the watch is performing well even on the right hand. It's time to compare the watch's heart rate tracking performance with Samsung Galaxy Watch 4. I will also be wearing an oximeter along with both the watches. So let's start with the test. As you can see Amazfit T-Rex 2 is neck to neck with Samsung Galaxy Watch 4. Next up, I'll compare the watch with Garmin 245M. It is one of the most accurate smartwatches when it comes to wrist-based heart rate readings. It constantly delivers reliable performance. As you can see, Amazfit T-Rex 2 is neck to neck with Garmin 245 Music. Hopefully, all the doubts that you had related to the heart rate accuracy would have been resolved by now. Now let's talk about some heart rate settings that you can use to track your heart rate on your T-Rex 2. All the settings I am about to show you can be done using the watch as well, but I'll be showing it using the Zap app. Open the Zap app, go to profile, Amazfit T-Rex 2 and then tap on help monitoring to access heart rate settings. On the next screen you will find all the heart rate related settings. Here you can change the heart rate measuring frequency or turn it off altogether to save battery life. I would recommend selecting a frequency that fits your requirement. You can also set an alert for high or low heart rate frequency. Enabling it will alert you whenever your heart rate falls below or above the set threshold. Everyone wants to track the accurate heart rate reading while performing any sports activity. However, no one is playing sports 24 by 7 and continuous heart rate tracking can be a battery drain. For those users, I would recommend turning on the active heart rate monitoring feature. Enabling it will increase the heart rate detection frequency of the watch whenever it detects a sports activity. I would recommend turning this feature on if you are facing any issues while tracking your heart rate. It would also fix any issue you are facing in earning the Amazfit Pi score. If you want to know more about what Amazfit Pi is, then check out our What is Amazfit Pi video using the i button. So it's time to end the video but before I go, here's a question for you. How valuable is heart rate data for you and why? Are you a runner or is it something that is nice to have but you don't use? I'll be reading all of your comments so do share your opinion down below. Also I'll request you to consider subscribing to our channel as I'll be coming out with more videos on Amazfit T-Rex 2. We are very close to reaching 1000 subscribers, help us in reaching that milestone. Don't forget to like the video as it helps us a lot. With that, it's time to say goodbye, see you next time.